What is up everybody? Again, thank you so much for stopping by at the channel. So quick video for you guys today. I'm gonna show you guys how to bleed the air out of the field. Just some cool little tips that you should know as a Duramax owner. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Chris just installed the CP3 in this 08 Duramax and everything's pretty much all put back together. He also put a lift pump on it and I thought this would be a great opportunity to capture this moment right here for some of you guys that are interested in on trying to learn how to bleed the fuel system. Especially if you're doing a lift pump, CP3, messing with anything in the fuel, injection lines, whatnot, you will get air in the fuel. Okay, so bleeding the fuel system, you've got a couple different uh, couple different ways of doing it, depending on the configuration of your truck. If you have a lift pump um, and your system is uh, dry and your, and your lift pump is primed, easiest way, just turn the key on. Uh, let it go for, you know, maybe 10, 15, 20 seconds and just crank the engine over and uh, the lift pump will, will send fuel up to the injection pump, the, the filter housing, stuff like that. Depending on what setup you have, everybody's, you know, may be different, but uh, the lift pump will, will, needless to say, send fuel right up to the injection pump and then the only way to prime the high side is just to crank the engine over. Um, but uh, if you don't have a lift pump, easiest way to do that is just pump on this primer bulb here um, with this bleeder screw here loose um, and you'll hear a little bit of air kind of purge out of this. Um, let's see if we can replicate that. Now this truck has ran, but so this truck does have a lift pump and this fuel system is already pretty much primed. But anyway, so and then you just uh, snug this snug the bleeder back up don't over tighten it it is plastic uh, it doesn't take much to seal just as long as it's it's snug sort of let the o-ring do its job yep just let the o-ring do its job don't strip it out you'll cause yourself more of a headache later on um, and uh, just get in there and crank it up and it should start this, this is the Schrader valve so this is the way that we normally um, bleed out the fuel system once your lift pump is primed up then you can turn the key on leave the key on in the truck and then uh, very carefully and watch your face and any fingers or anything like that but you can very gently um, just push down this little Schrader valve here um, I normally take a pocket screwdriver and you just push it down for a second and you'll you, you'll be able to see and hear um, the air purge out of that line and uh, that that line right there is one of the feeds to your injection pump. Basically have steady fuel going to your injection pump. Uh, and like we stated earlier, the only way to bleed out the air out of the high, the high pressure system is uh, just simply crank the engine over. So great idea. Um, thanks Matt for explaining that to us. This is where you guys can find him, Swords Creek, Michigan. He has a, when I say Matt shop, when I refer to Matt shop, that's where we're at guys. He is the owner of Diesel Pro's Performance along with all of his awesome technicians over here. Um, he pretty much works on everything heavy and yep. uh, light and just everything. So yep, yeah, we can service anything you have from uh, skid steers all the way on up to class eight trucks. Uh, but we do specialize in Duramax, Power Stroke, and Cummins. So, so that is all the time that we have for today, guys. We'll be doing a lot more videos here in the shop. A lot of shop talk. I noticed I've been getting some great feedback from you guys on shop talk and videos here at Matt's Diesel Performance Business. Other than that, guys, I appreciate your time. Make sure you don't forget to follow me on Instagram. We'll see you on the next video. Take care. See you.